all right y'all welcome back to the channel and to another turkey pattern test and right off the bat we're still out here dealing with a little bit of wind and a swirly wind at that so it's pretty annoying to work around as well as a few airplanes in the background so i apologize for that but we're working with what we've got today but anyway i've got a really pretty interesting combination that i think we can test out today it's both a load and a choke that we have not seen on the channel in a while at least since back during turkey season and i really want to see kind of how this combination does i don't necessarily know what to expect it could be a whole lot better than what we've seen out of these before or it could be a little bit worse or about the same i really don't know but as for the load that we're going to be running today are some more of the federal grand slam loads these are 12 gauge 3 inch 1200 feet per second one and three quarter ounce of number fives and since we do have the chronograph out here today i will be running the shot over the chronograph to see if that 1200 feet per second on the box there is even close to what we actually see and as for our setup today i've got the remington 1187 Premier out again but this time i went back and grabbed this choke and it's probably hard to see in the shadows and the glare but that is a factory remington made super full straight rifled turkey choke i'll throw a picture up on the screen here of what it actually looks like on the inside it's really unique it's got straight rifling down the inside of the choke it's definitely a little bit of an older school design they definitely don't make those chokes anymore and i if i had to guess that choke's probably every bit of 20 years old but i'm really curious to see since we haven't had the greatest results out of these grand slam loads so far I really want to know what that federal flight control wad will do through a straight rifled turkey choke like this. It could be a really good combination or it could completely throw everything into pieces. I really don't know what to expect. But either way, I've got the turkey target set up over here at 40 yards. So I'm going to take you guys, get you a nice view of the target. I'm going to shoot the load. We'll take a look at what velocity we got over the chronograph real quick and see if it's anywhere close to what the box says. And then we'll take a look at how they perform down there on the paper. So let's head over here and shoot them and see what they do. All right, so that round gave us 1,209 feet per second. The box called for 1,200, so we're right on the money with what that box called for. All right, so this is what we got out of this combination of that Remington straight rifled super full turkey choke and those Federal Grand Slam 5s. Now, right off the bat, we definitely were a little high and a little left over here, but he is still a dead turkey at 40 yards. But as you can see, there's definitely still a pretty open pattern down here. We do see some of these flyers down around the edges here and all the way out across on this side but all in all it's absolutely a usable pattern for a 40 yard turkey load but it's still nothing impressive especially when you compare it to a long beard five load i do think however that might be the best pattern that we have seen out of those federal grand slam loads potentially that straight rifling in that old remington choke evened out the middle of this pattern a little bit where there's less splotchiness or a little bit less amount of voids in there there's still a couple small ones but overall the center area of this pattern is pretty even and it's definitely a lot more even than what we have seen out of these grand slam loads before i don't know maybe i'm being a little bit too harsh on it because it will absolutely take your bird out to 40 yards but just in comparison to what else you can get for the same price at the same place on the same shelf, there's just better options out there in my opinion. That's still a turkey killing pattern, but it's just definitely not my first choice in a turkey pattern for sure. And if you have not seen it before, these are those Federal Flight Control Wads. They open from the rear, which is a different design to pretty much every other wad out there. They don't really open up from the front at all you have these slight little slots in the side but it's a really pretty interesting design overall there's nothing jammed down in there as far as shot goes so we're good there but nothing really to see here no rips or tears or anything like that just your typical flight control wad well y'all what do you think about it if you've been around the channel you've seen us test these loads in several other setups with 
some not so amazing results and i definitely do think that's probably the best pattern that we have gotten out of these loads but it's still really no comparison to something like a longbeard 5 load would be especially at the same price point but i don't know what do you guys think about it it's definitely a usable pattern there's no question there so maybe i'm being a little bit critical on it because it will absolutely do the job for you but we have definitely seen better performances out of different loads in that same price point but let me know leave me a comment and tell me what you guys think about that it'll definitely work but it's still nothing impressive but i do think that straight rifling in that old remington choke definitely helped it out some i don't think it really necessarily reduced any of the flyers but i do think it made it a little bit more even than what we had seen it before and with that being said i've got several more tests i want to run while i'm out here today so i'm going to get back to it and i'll see y'all in the next one